Dear brothers and sisters, a blessed Christmas to all of you. Every Christmas signifies the end of another year as we prepare to step into a new one. It is also what drives many to become more reflective of our year thus far. God's work on us, areas we have grown in, or what are the areas we still may need to pray over and have breakthroughs. Although Christmas is a very festive season where people are adorning their houses, preparing for celebration with their loved ones, there may also be those who are hiding their troubles and struggles in the midst of it all. It may be a time of joy and fun, but it can also send insinuations to some, such as, what have I been doing with my year? Why am I still not progressing? Why does no one empathize with me? Why is everyone happy except for me and such? However, the matter of fact is, we live a life that will never be rid of problems. In fact, they will still come, but in different forms and even bigger quantity at times. The Lord Jesus knows full well that the troubles of life will not decrease or end as long as we live in this broken world with our broken selves. But He loves us and He will surely redeem us. So for those of us who are still ridden with some worries, anxiety, fear or pressures, let us regain a look into how the Lord Jesus calls you into His saving embrace. In Matthew 1 verse 21 to 23 it says, She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. Firstly, Jesus came to this world so that through him, the answer to all the problems in life can be revealed. And simply put, the answer is in Emmanuel. God with us. However, in every situation, people tend to first react by flesh. That is why in the process, some get hurt, accused, regretful, and keep circling around the same issue. In these moments, it is where we truly need the Word of God. John 1 verse 1 to 4 says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him, all things were made. Without Him, Nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. Only the word of God, through the example of Jesus, can bring us out of the ditches of our problems. How so? Through the life of Jesus, he wants to reveal the light in life. In every different circumstances and stages Jesus was in, even though we know he is sinless, but his examples are very naturally revealed to us, like his responses, not being easily influenced or impacted by problems, but have a thankful, contented, merciful, loving, wise and humble heart that surrenders himself to the Lord. But we must see that all these responses he have comes from knowing the Lord. The Lord is the source of life. So Jesus' every example is to show the light of God's word in him. That is why his response to every issue is like a light in the darkness, startling the crowd, making the spiritual leaders dumbfounded and bringing hope to the needy he serves. He shows us that there is a light in every trouble and that light can only be found through the truth in God's word. Now, when people have seen Jesus' example, there will be two differentiating responses. Those who know their need for God or those who do not accept His ways. For those who see their sins and need for God, they are those who want to receive and understand this light in Jesus' life. They will come to know they are born separated from God because of sins and under the ruling and bondages of Satan. So they know their sinful self and in so, develop a humble heart to submit to the Lord, while having hope and trust in the Lord's sovereignty to lead the rest of their lives. Then, we have those who are reacting in the opposite way. Instead of desiring to know the light that helps them walk out of their troubles, they feel self-pity, accused, bitter, or often lamenting instead. It is as though they dislike the example of Jesus and refuse the way of the light. In so, they continue to dwell in the darkness of their hearts and minds, receiving added insinuations. Now, brothers and sisters, John 1 verse 5 to 7 continues on to say, The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning that light, so that through him all might believe. When one's life is being illuminated by the light of Christ and believes in his truth, we become the light to witness for Him. So let us not turn the other way when the light of God's good news comes to us in life. If we know Apostle John's life, we know he is not perfect. But when the light of Jesus shines on him and he is drawn in by the Lord, his whole life is transformed as he becomes contrite in his spirit. He became someone who could minister to and mediate things among people in God's ways. He used his every successes and failures, 
sins and being aware of his sins to witness and shepherd many others. If we receive the light that John received, you too can be lifted by the Lord and become a source of blessing to others around you, being a servant of God that glorifies him in your fields. Even though Jesus is God's son and is without blemish, yet he put himself down to come into this world and did everything in flesh. Hebrews 1 verse 3 says, The Son is the radiance of God's glory and the exact representation of His being, sustaining all things by His powerful word. After He had provided purification for sins, He sat down at the right hand of the Majesty in heaven. And that is also the important message that God wants to send to His people today. At this year end, let us not be stifled because of our problems and fears, but instead seek Jesus and His light because of our issues. The birth of Christ and His salvation is so that you can have hope. Let our problems, the things unknown to us, let us draw closer to know them through the way God leads us, through the word God reveals to us, through the Holy Spirit that convicts and moves us. So let us slow down amidst the celebrative vibe of Christmas all around us, but take time to keep turning back to know and know the light of Christ in our lives deeper.